This question is based on exponents and you need to use the rules of exponents to get to the answer. It's not that uh, difficult question, it's actually an easy question. You could easily solve in less than a minute. Okay, let's let's analyze this one. Okay. So you have 32 to the power 5 plus 2 to the power 27. I need to check this is divisible by which of the following answer choices. So first step you need to do is you just need to try to simplify this further. Okay. So why I'm saying is because I can see 32 is nothing but 2 to the power 5. So you can see that both the terms you can write in terms of base 2. So that is something that we can, we are trying to do in the beginning. Okay. So convert both the terms into the same base that is 2. Then you simplify it further. Okay. So instead of 32, I can replace it as a 2 to the power 5, which is 32. So it's going to be 2 to the power 5, the whole to the power 5, plus 2 to the power 27. Okay. Now, next, if you remember the rules of exponents, let's say 2 to the power x, the whole to the power 5, which is equivalent to 2 to the power x times y. This is one of the rules that you should remember. Okay, and there are a few other rules. You should, uh, like, if you are not, uh, if you don't remember them, make sure that you revise those rules. It's very important. So, 2 to the power x, all power y is equal to 2 to the power x times y. So you need to multiply these powers when you have a situation like this. So same, I'm going to apply it here. So it's going to be equal to the first term is equal to 2 to the power 5 times 5, which is 25, plus 2 to the power 27. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, I'm going to simplify. I'm going to take the common terms outside. I'm going to simplify it further, okay? So in the first term, 2 is multiplied by itself 25 times. There are 25 2's in the first term. And in the second term, 2 is multiplied by itself 27 times. There are 27 2's. So how many 2's are common in both the terms? You can say 25 2's are common. Because here there are 25 2's definitely. Here also there is 25 2's. Right? So it's common in both. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking the, the common term outside. So it's going to, I'm taking 2 to the power 25 common out. And in the first term, you have one left because all the terms you are taking it out. And in the second term, uh, there are 27 twos out of it, 25 twos you are taking out. So you have two twos left, that is two to the power two. Okay. This is what we are getting. So if you want to cross check it, check it, what you need to do is you just need to open the bracket and check whether you are getting the same result. See, when you open the bracket, it's going to get the same. So that's how you can cross check. So next step we're going to do is uh, 2 to the power 25 times I'm just combining them. 2 square is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is the simplified form, which is in the prime factor factorization form. This The term given in the question can be simplified as 2 to the power 25 times 5. So I need to check which of the following, uh, this is divisible by which of the following answer choice. So option A you can eliminate because there is no 3 here. So definitely it is not divisible. 7 also you can eliminate. 10 it works, right? 10 is nothing but 2 times 5. So definitely there is a 2 under 5, so it's exactly divisible by 10. And clearly 11 also will not work. So your answer is option C is your right answer, that is 10. It is divisible by the number 10.